Sukhoi Su-35 Flanker E is a multi-role heavyweight, long-range, single-steep fighter aircraft from Russia. Developed from the Su-27, the Su-35 is considered a close cousin of the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, a variant of the Su-30 produced for India. This air superiority fighter jet is also still one of the best non-stealth fighter jets and rivals many fourth-generation fighter jets from the West. The first Su-35 aircraft was then further developed into the Su-35BM, which entered the production line as the Su-35S. The Russian Air Force currently operates 12 Su-35 fighters since 2008. The Su-35 aircraft is actually derived from the Su-27 and is a ground-based variant of the Su-33. When the Russian Air Force continued to use the name Su-27M, Sukhoi changed the name of this aircraft to Su-35 in the hope of attracting the attention of foreign consumers. The design of the Su-35 is identical to the Su-27, but without the canards of the Su-33 and with a more powerful engine plus a new digital fly-by-wire system. The Su-35 aircraft is also equipped with a new multimode radar, infrared detector, and upgraded weapons. Development of the Su-35 experienced numerous delays due to the Soviet economy's slump, and the Russian military opted not to purchase one. Sukhoi then used 11 demonstrator aircraft to attract foreign customers in order to raise funds for mass production. However, in 2007, Sukhoi announced that the Su-35 had begun mass production for the Russian Air Force. The production version was later known as the Su-35 with a more powerful engine, an improved 3D thrust vectoring nozzle, and a larger air intake. The Su-35 does not use canards like its prototype, but these canards can be installed according to the customer's wishes. Other improvements include a more sophisticated radar, cockpit, compatibility with additional weapons, and the use of the latest electronics. This aircraft is manned by one person and has a gross weight of 23,500 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight MTOW of 34,500 kilograms. The aircraft is equipped with two X Saturn AL 41F1 South after burning turbofan engines. This engine is capable of making the aircraft accelerate up to Mach 2.25 or 2,400 kilometers per hour. The plane is capable of climbing at a speed of 280 meters per second. Reported by Military Machine, the aircraft is capable of flying with a maximum altitude of up to 18 kilometers. The aircraft can accommodate a fuel load of up to 11,500 kilograms and is capable of carrying up to 8,000 kilograms of weapons. The aircraft is also capable of flying at a distance of up to 3,600 kilometers. The Su-30 MKK is also equipped with a 30mm Gryazev Shapunov Gish 30 to 1 autocannon, S-25 rockets, air missiles, ground missions, anti-ship missiles and bombs such as KAB 500 liters laser guided and KAB 1500 liters laser bombs. Guided. With capabilities like this, it's no wonder this aircraft has become a subscription for a number of world military units. Besides Russia, China also uses Sukhoi Su-35 aircraft. Meanwhile, the Su-35S underwent a major avionics overhaul including a digital fly-by-wire flight control system, IRBISE phased array radar, and an onboard inferred search and track IRST system. Equally important for its air superiority role, the Su-35 boasts an offensive electronic countermeasures, ECM, suite that can engage the S-16, AIM-120 ANRAN and similar air-to-air -air missiles. The also upgraded R-74 short-range air-to-air missile offers a range of between 40 and 45 kilometers and supports off or sight fire. That means Su-35 pilots can target enemy aircraft by looking at them through their helmets within a certain field of view. Additionally, what sets the Su-35 apart from many similarly positioned air superiority fighters is that it is capable of ground bombardment. On the other hand, some consider the Su-35 to be the final modernization for the evolution of the world's best fighter jets in the 20th century. Or, it could be the first step in the creation of the T-50 5th generation combat system, often referred to as the PAKFA, 
From its exterior, the Su-35 basically reflects Russia's future fifth-generation fighter jet. The price is also at least three times cheaper than the T-50. This is one of the reasons why the Russian Ministry of Defense has decided to delay the launch of the PAKFA. According to Vadim Kozulin, professor at the Academy of Military Sciences, the Su-35 and T-50 have a digital cabin. This jet does not have traditional navigation equipment equipped with pointer arrows. Instead, there are two liquid crystal displays, liquid crystal display or LCD, to provide all the information pilots need in picture-in-picture -picture format. Additionally, the hydrodynamic actuators of the Su-35's power system were replaced with electric ones, which the builders say not only reduced area and weight, but also helped introduce a parallel long-range guidance system of the engines. In practice, this means the role of the pilot is diminishing. It is the computer that determines at what speed and what way the machine will find its target, and at what moment it will make the weapon usable by the pilot. In addition, the fighter jet has an advanced radar system with Urbis, a phased array antenna, radio waves that can be directed electronically without moving the antenna, which has the unique ability to detect targets at very long distances. In terms of characteristics, the radar is similar to that on the F-22. The Urbis can detect approaching targets from a distance of 350 to 400 kilometers. At that range, the Su-35 can also see aircraft carriers. At a distance of 150 to 200 kilometers, it can see bridges rail. At ranges of 100 to 120 kilometers, motor boats, and at ranges of 60 to 70 kilometers, mobile tactical missile systems or multiple armored vehicles and tanks, Kozulin said. The Su-35 will also use a Russian-made aircraft engine, the AL-41 F-1S, which will not only give the engine great speed and maneuverability, but also the possibility to store multiple weapons. In particular, the Su-35 can fly with eight tons of high-precision bombs and missiles.